Okay, this is a quick video about how the 2017 MacBook Pros with the touch bar interact with Pioneer controllers if you're using Serato DJ. I bought this in August of 2017 and I found out very quickly that it's very particular on how it wants to be hooked up to Serato DJ for you to be able to transition from one controller to another or just in general if you need to get started very quickly for some reason at a gig or an event. So the first thing you're going to do of course you got your computer open ready to go make sure you're not having any programs open would be preferable definitely you cannot have Serato DJ open. Power your equipment on. First thing you do turn the power on here now you're going to notice the USB. Of course, USB-C connections are all that you have on these MacBook Pros. You're going to have two here and two here. MacBook Pro, all four of them are the same speed, so it doesn't matter which one you're using. Just pick one. Either you have a dongle or you have the adapters on the side. I've not used the adapters on the side, so I can't vouch for how well they work with Serato. Plug in, and you're going to notice right away. Watch down here if I plug it in the right way. See that? Recognizes the controller. Now you open Serato DJ. Give it a second to pop up. Alright, everything comes up golden. And you can very quickly pick a track you're off and running. So now you've played your gig, things are going well, you need to move to another room. Okay, stop, quit. So you quit Serato DJ before unplugging anything. Now that you have quit, disconnect, it will disconnect and you can move your Mac to another location and repeat the process and do the whole thing over again. If you don't do it this way, it just might lock up on you and not want to work at all and you're going to have to restart the whole system. And nobody wants to do that. So, of course, back in the olden days with Serato uh, Scratch Live, which I started using in 2008, it, this didn't seem to matter because you could just plug in and out at any point and your computer never really cared, neither did the controllers, including this controller. Uh, I only have had Serato DJ with this controller, but prior to this MacBook, it uh, still was able to plug and play. But now you have to do it in a very specific sequence. Follow that sequence, you shouldn't have any problems. Thanks for watching.